Welcome to uh, Gregorhurst, another town in Muskoka, named after a book. And this is Gull Lake Park. And I'm here because uh, German POWs from Camp 20 that was here in Gravenhurst between 1940 and 1946 apparently build something here but I'm not gonna walk the lighthouse and some other things. Looking for a place where a Nazi POW camp used to be. Nazi German POW camp. I have never been to Gravenhurst and apparently uh, you know, I'm gonna park. And I'm gonna have a look. <laughs> this seems to be it. That was the fish tank, maybe? A treat. Is this where German POWs used to swim? Were bombed by the Norwegians with rotten potatoes? Is this where they played hockey in the wintertime? Obviously. In 1940, out of the fear of uh, German invasion to Britain, 489 German POWs were moved to Muskoka, to Camp 20. And uh, they lived in luxurious conditions uh, comparing to other POWs. I mean, let's not forget, 5 million Soviet POWs were starved and worked to death. And these guys here had a camp on Lake Muskoka, got to swim, got to fish, uh, got to skate in the wintertime, play hockey. One of them allegedly was a professional hockey player, not professional, Olympic hockey player for Germany, escaped and apparently, I cannot confirm it, <laughs> apparently was captured practicing with Montreal Canadiens. And these guys, uh, had their fish tank that we saw. They had uh, all the luxuries that they could have. And this is the birthplace of Norman Bethune. He is a Canadian surgeon who invented Techniques of mobile blood transfusion on the battlefield. There's like a little trench there with parapet and a periscope. Um, he took part in Spanish Civil War, as well as Sino-Japanese War, where he died in 1939. He was operating on a wounded soldier, got himself, and. Uh, ended up getting blood infection and that's how he died. He's a national hero in, in China. Uh, he was even present on their post stamps. Now we're gonna find a little Norway. Uh, in 1940 when Norway was taken over by, uh, by Germany, Norwegian, it's a nice downtown, Norwegian government in exile decided to keep the Norwegian 
Air Force intact. And they never they never led him to take part in the Battle of Britain in 1940. And other occupied nations did. Uh, you had 14 French, 30 Belgian, 88 Czechoslovakian, 146 Polish fighters uh, defending Britain. Norwegians came here. Norwegians came to Canada and their training in, in Canada. Uh, their first uh, airfield where they started uh, practicing was in, on Toronto Island. They crashed into uh, into a ferry onto the island. Sam McBride. Two Norwegians died when they crashed into that ferry. Sam McBride. And uh, that's why Canadian government decided to move him up here all the way to Muskoka area and they had uh, their training facility here at the airport just a little bit north of here and uh, well <laughs> I can only match it Norwegian uh, pilots on furlough going I don't want to turn Norwegian pilots on furlough meeting German POWs also on a furlough and uh, those discussions must have been awesome <laughs> At least one time the Norwegians uh, bombed uh, swimming uh, Germans with rotten potatoes. <laughs> yeah. Well, later on, of course, the Norwegians were shipped over to Europe to keep up fighting. I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna go north. And I'll find uh, the airport. And uh, there's like a little memorial uh, for Norwegian pilots. That's why they call it Little Norway for a while. Airport in uh, Gravenhurst. Looking for the Little Norway Memorial. Is that it? The winds have died, but I'm sure this is... Norwegian flag, all the colors are right. Avonhurst. Well, wishes you a safe return. Thank you very much. That is so kind of you.